Planning for death isn't something anyone enjoys, and that is complicated by a new problem, limited space for burial. I have been working, and the ministry has been working on, on acquiring properties for cemeteries in all the districts. We acquired property in Northside. Um, we are working right now on acquiring property in Bodden Town and West Bay. Bodden Town and West Bay are the two cemeteries now dealing with major space problems. We were going to make provisions for cremation and also for double vaults. Double vaults is simply stacking two caskets one on top of another. This will allow current cemeteries to be used a lot longer. It's a change from the way we, we have always uh, disposed of our, our loved one remains and so we'll have to get adjusted to that so that's why we're doing trial trials. As owner of Church Hills, Mr. Solomon is familiar with the reality of the problem and while double stacking can help there are some problems with it. It will help, it's a short term, it's putting a band-aid on, on, on quite a big wound. And he has another option, one that will not only help the crisis but that will also cut funeral costs by a third. I would like to propose a national cemetery. National cemetery, again, a mausoleum. Something that we can build off ground and we can offer families of five and six able to be buried in one location, one on top of the other. And while most districts are doing fine for right now, as Cayman grows, finding a final resting place in the more populated districts will get harder. Kevin Waller, News 27.